coming to question 9 what syndrome can you expect in a patient presenting with acute stroke and the MR angiogram shown below I don't think you see the post circulation properly here even though you see a little bit of vertebral artery and uh, a little bit of anterospinal artery here but I'm not able to see the basilar artery so it's kind of a proximal to mid basilar occlusion that's happening here and as we have discussed already mid basilar occlusion typically results in something called as block den syndrome definitely the MRI is not compatible with the diagnosis of left MC occlusion uh, MRI is not compatible with the diagnosis of Wallenberg syndrome because in Wallenberg syndrome you are going to have vertebral artery occlusion or probably a pica occlusion but vertebral artery occlusion is what uh, will be seen um, very clearly in the MR angiograms that's not what is happening here so it's not Wallenberg syndrome and it's not Paranoid syndrome Paranoid syndrome uh, usually is going to result because of some tumor uh, posterior to the midbrain especially a pineuloma that can compress the dorsal aspect of the midbrain and that's going to result in Paranoid syndrome or very rarely if there is a top of basilar artery infarction then in that situation also you might get Paranoid syndrome like picture but clearly it's not a top of basilar artery occlusion because in top of basilar occlusion you have to see some segment of the basilar artery here none of the basilar artery is visible so definitely it's not going to be top of basilar artery syndrome so it's a mid basilar or proximal basilar occlusion that's resulting in locked down syndrome right answer for this question is option d look at the normal angiographic picture this is how it should look like so you have two vertebral arteries uniting to form basilar artery and you have two posterior cerebral arteries as well um, that, are, that are bifurcating from the basilar artery. It's a normal angiographic picture of the posterior circulation. <laughs>